Right here, we're looking at a basic uh, high efficient furnace. Um, we're going to talk about filter cleaning, replacement, and so on. So, um, filter is always located on the return air side of the furnace. So, return air is the cold air that comes back to the furnace. So, here's our filter compartment. Let's pull out the filter here and I'll talk about it a little bit. So, this particular filter, ooh, look at that, is a reusable filter. And uh, typically they're, they're see-through. Uh, so if you hold it up to daylight, you can see daylight through it. I don't think we'll see any daylight through this one. <laughs> so the importance of, of replacing or cleaning your filter is that, uh, that you're going to do two things. You're going to maximize the airflow through your furnace. And, uh, and electricity and gas are quite expensive, so obviously we want to use as much of that air to our advantage. We don't want to uh, pay more than we need to, to to heat your house or cool it if you have a cooling system. So uh, the filter is one of the most important components of your furnace. Um, the other reason why you guys need to uh, change and clean your filters is it avoids costly service bills from us technicians. What a plugged filter like this one will do is it'll cause a furnace to overheat. Uh, a furnace needs cold air going through it in order to cool it. Without that cold air, it's going to set off little safeties that are built into the furnace. Your furnace isn't going to work. You're going to call us and we're going to say all it is is your filter. I'm going to talk a little bit about filter types. There's filters like this one, which are reusable, reusable filters to a certain extent. You can wash them for a few years, maintain them, and so on. Uh, as you can see, they capture a lot of dust, but they're not a, a HEPA-style filter, so they're not taking out those little bacteria um, and, and so on that are floating around your house. Um, typically, we want to be cleaning a filter every three months, like this. Um, it's a one-inch thick filter. Um, there's only so much surface area that air can flow through. If you have pets, you probably want to clean it every two months or so. Um, there are different thicknesses of filters um, and the benefit to going to a thicker filter is that it allows more square footage of area or square inches of area for that air to flow through. So if you have, for instance, a three or four inch thick filter, that means you're getting that much more airflow to your furnace. Your furnace loves airflow, it's very good for it. So that's a thing to consider is upgrading this portion of the ducting here so that it can accommodate a larger filter or even building a, a compartment in up here um, where actually it will optimize the, uh, the airflow through your furnace.